Chapter 89, The Header Moroni tells the world that there is a chance to repent and keep the prophecies of destruction from being fulfilled. All prophecy given is conditional. 1. And now, it is expedient that ye understand one thing that I have not yet explained unto you in this record. Behold, all prophecy that proceedeth forth from the mouth of all the holy prophets are given unto the children of men as port ends and cautions, and words of warning to prepare them for the things which shall come. 2. But most importantly, the words of the prophets are given to prepare your souls to meet the Father, and live in one of his many kingdoms of glory. 3. And this is the thing that ye should understand. Yea, even though a prophet shall prophesy in the name of the Lord of the great destruction and tribulations that shall come to pass, this doth not mean that it shall have to come to pass according to his words. Or in other words, it does not mean that ye do not have your free agency to change the course of the events of the future so that these things do not come to pass. 4. For the words of the prophets are given unto you, to warn you of the dangers ahead of you for living in wickedness and sin. And the prophets do not know the exactness of the destructions and tribulations that shall come upon you, but they give a generalization of those things which shall come to pass according to the words of prophecy that they receive from the Holy Ghost. 5. And the Holy Ghost receiveth all of his knowledge directly from the Son who receiveth this knowledge from the Father, and it is the great knowledge and the vast experience of the Father that maketh it possible that things are known of the future. 6. And the Father loveth all of his children, and it is not his desire that we suffer in misery and tribulation upon this earth, and the only times that we suffer in misery is when we do not follow his plan, but he cannot force us to follow his plan but hath given unto each of us our individual free agency to act according to our own desires and live the course of life that we choose for ourselves. 7. Therefore, all things which are done upon the earth, which maketh us miserable, are from our own doing, and are not the punishments or doings of the Father. Behold, the Father punisheth no one because he knoweth that we will punish ourselves, if we do not listen to his spirit, and do those things which he knoweth will bring us joy and happiness. 8. But when we choose to go against his plan, then he also knoweth that which will come to pass, because of our choice to go against him. And this is the reason why he suffereth prophets to come among us, and preach repentance unto us, and try to persuade us to listen to the Holy Spirit which giveth the peace and happiness that we desire. 9. Therefore, if ye of the latter days repent of your wickedness, and turn again to the Father, and follow his plan, then the words of the prophet shall not be fulfilled concerning you, and ye shall not suffer the misery and tribulation that ye shall suffer if ye reject his gospel. 10. And so that ye of the latter days might know more fully of his gospel, and also of the things which shall be taught by Christ when he cometh to the earth, to set up the kingdom of the Father for the last time, the Lord hath commanded me to finish this record by explaining the gospel of Christ as it is intended for the daily lives of the children of men, which is also the will of the Father concerning those of you who live upon the earth in the last days as it hath been since the beginning concerning all of his children. 11. And I have been commanded to give unto you what hath been written by the hand of the brother of Jared, concerning the time when the Lord shall be upon the earth to teach the people his laws, and to set up a righteous government that shall rule the people in peace, and righteousness for the last thousand years of the existence of mortality upon this earth. 12. And as I bridge the words of the brother of Jared, I shall give unto you an explanation of these things according to the Spirit, which has been strong within me during the course of this entire abridgment, which I have added to the record of my father Mormon, but shall cause to be sealed up according to the commandment of the Lord. 13. Therefore, the things that I am about to write unto you are those things that ye can do to bring much peace and happiness upon the earth in the latter days, 
and cause that the tribulations and destruction that have been prophesied against you shall not come to pass. 14. But if ye reject the things that I am about to write unto you, according to the command of the Lord, and the promptings of the Holy Ghost, yea, if ye refuse to incorporate them into your lives, then ye shall suffer all things which the prophets have prophesied against you. 15. Therefore, read these words, yea, take them into your heart, so that ye might understand their meaning. Implement the great counsel that shall be given unto you into your daily lives. Yea, require these things of your leaders, and those whom ye have given power over you, that ye might have the peace and happiness that the Father hath promised to all of us. 16. Behold, Satan shall fight the implementation of these things into your daily lives, because they are not the principles and purposes of his plan. 17. But it should not matter what Satan desireth of you. For ye have your free agency to act, and choose for yourselves that which ye will do during the days of your probation. 18. And a promise I give unto all the people of the world in the latter days, yea, if ye do these things, then ye shall be a happy people, and ye shall not want or suffer for anything all the days of your lives. 19. And if ye do these things, then shall the words of the prophets be fulfilled when they gave unto you the will of the Lord, saying, I will cut my work short in righteousness, for the days come that I will send forth judgment unto victory. 20. And now, this hath been the desire of all the holy prophets of God, even that they should establish righteousness upon the earth among the children of men. And this shall also be the desire of these last two prophets who shall be among you in the latter days. 21. And the first shall do all in his power to implement the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ into the daily lives of those who shall give heed unto his words. 22. And this prophet shall pray unto the Lord, saying, We ask thee to appoint unto Zion other states besides this one which thou hast appointed that the gathering of thy people may roll on in great power and majesty, that thy work may be cut short in righteousness. 23. And the Lord shall promise Joseph, this first prophet among you, that if Zion is established, and the people repent, and work righteousness in all things whatsoever they shall be commanded by the mouth of Joseph, then he would cut his work short in righteousness, even saying unto his servant Joseph, for I, the Almighty, have laid hands upon the nations, to scourge them for their wickedness, and plagues shall go forth, and they shall not be taken from the earth until I have completed my work, which shall be cut short in righteousness. 24. And now, these are promises of the Lord, if the people are righteous before him. Behold, Enoch preached the gospel unto the people in his day, and they became an exceedingly righteous people. And all the days of their lives they remained righteous. And when the world rose up against them, the Lord caused that they should be taken from off of the earth because of the promises which he made unto them. 25. But the people of the church that Joseph shall establish on the earth shall not remain in righteousness. And thus the promises of the Lord shall not be fulfilled concerning them. 26. And these promises also pertain unto you who have received this record. Behold, if ye repent and begin to work righteousness upon the earth, then shall the promises of the Lord be fulfilled in you. 27. And now, my brothers and sisters, yea, even all of you upon the face of the whole earth, read these things that I am about to give unto you. Know that the Lord will come one day and open up all the books which have been written by his power, and ye shall be judged by the words that are written in these books. 28. And this book, which shall be sealed to come forth at this time, is the greatest of all the books that have ever been written, because of the plainness of the words and the clarity of the things which the Father would have his children know concerning him. 29. Therefore, I say unto you, give strict heed to the things that are written herein, for they shall either bless your lives exceedingly on one hand, 
or on the other, they shall condemn you to everlasting condemnation. End of chapter 89.